really important to us that when you pick up the pad, uh, Batman, if he's taking four, five, six henchmen on, he doesn't have a lot of trouble. I mean, he's a highly trained martial artist. He can take these guys out with no problems. So we really wanted the player to feel that power. Lots of people coming at you and you feeling like you're just batting them around. So the skill in the game really comes from when you're taking on eight, nine, ten enemies, one with a taser, one with a machine gun, one with a pipe he's ripped off the wall, and balancing that danger in the room. We looked at introducing what we called the invisible predator mechanic. Now this mechanic allows Batman to move around in the rafters of a building without the enemies even knowing he's there, and he can study where they're moving and choose when and how to take them down. And that whole kind of preparedness of Batman is a really important part of his character as well. You really want to achieve a feeling that you're creating fear in the enemies, that you're really having an emotional impact on them, that they're reacting to the fact that they can't see you and you're Batman and you really are picking them off and, and kind of playing with them. We really wanted gadgets that represented not only Batman's navigational skills, but also gadgets that allowed Batman to interact in new ways with the enemies in combat and also in Predator as he's moving around. 